In a world with no more blank spots on the map, there are fewer and fewer mysteries to be explained. Australia, however, hosts many. Lamington National Park, located near Brisbane, Australia, is a biological hotspot, home to numerous rare and exotic flora and fauna, including the Lamington spiny greenfish, which is mysteriously blue. This introduces our question. Why is the Lamington spiny crayfish blue? Possibilities are what I'm thinking about. There's um, the colouring is, is bright blue and white, so they hang in streams way up in the top of the Lamington National Park in some cold streams. So my original theories were that possibly it's to um, blend into the white wash of the water running over the rocks and also a reflection of a bit of blue from the sky that you're going to get through there. But the downside to that theory is that often they're under shade because you've got a canopy above it and um, also you've got the sort of problem of uh, a lot of predatory animals don't see in colour like we do. So that may not be such the case. Um, obviously it's just a theory. No one knows for sure why the crayfish is blue, but the unique geography of the area, shaped by millions of years of volcanic and erosive forces, is responsible for the formation of cool mountaintop islands, which are distinguished from a warm sea of subtropical and tropical lowlands. Because of the geographic isolation of a mountainous habitat, the distribution of the Lamington crayfish is fragmented and limited to high mountain streams. One possibility for the development of its unique blue coloring is a genetic mutation. The isolated population and inbreeding may have allowed for the prevalence of this gene. This gene, which codes for the blue coloration, does not appear to negatively impact the survivability of the Lamington spiny crayfish. But the spiny crayfish now has new reasons to be blue. One threat to the crayfish is illegal harvesting as people take the crayfish out of the wild to keep in aquarium displays. Another threat the crayfish faces is invasive species, including feral cats and dogs, which eat the crayfish and destroy its habitat. And the crayfish, so well adapted to a stable environment, lack thermal regulation abilities. Aquatic environments have little daily temperature fluctuations, even with small seasonal temperature changes. And because the crayfish must conform to the water temperature, it is incredibly susceptible to global climate change. With global climate change comes an increase in environmental temperatures. The crayfish cannot disperse to cooler habitats, thus they are unable to escape the realities of global climate change. This unique crayfish has made its attempts to protect itself, but with no success. The biggest problem is perhaps people having uh, ignorance to it, so not understanding what the roles are of national parks and the conservation of them. And sort of putting them on the pedestal like most of the, um, the heads of conservation. Sometimes when you, you put that thing up and make a big deal out of it, it can help a, a, the greater good of everything around it and uh, bring it to a light that people want to see it rather than you know just come across it.